hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again so in today's video i'm going to tell you everything about metallic watercolor i'm using this bilstro uh, metallic watercolor having 12 sheets in it you can use whatever brand you like and whatever color you have because in today's video i'm going to show you the basics of metallic color and different techniques of metallic color which we can incorporate in our daily watercolor painting and whenever you want to start with any color doesn't matter if it is watercolor or metallic watercolor you need to activate the color first so just put some water into it to activate it but before we are going to start with actual painting we need to understand which color is looking how when it comes to the sheet i'm using this watercolor sheet and i have divided this into multiple sections so that we can use all these color in each and every section this step is more important when it comes to the black sheet but let's see how this color is looking on the white sheet first so the first color is pearl gold little lighter than the gold itself and we call it pearl gold you can name it also in the sheet so that you can remember it the next color is gold deep a little brighter than the pearl gold and then we have bronze shimmer all these golden color pops really well when it comes to the black sheet but i think it's also good for the white sheet as well now the next color is copper shimmer this one is again very good color when it comes to the black sheet and also for the white sheet as well then we have shimmer pink these shade of pink and blue is more to create background and to create little extra glittery effect when it comes to the watercolor now this one is the pearl silver my favorite one and the next one is mystic blue i like silver light blue light green color when it comes to the watercolor painting and this one is the moss green color uh, you need to remember all these color name also uh, it's good to have those kind of knowledge so that's why i like to create sheet like this and then i'll put name into it so that i can remember all the names so the first uh, from the bottom row we have blue green then we have blue and then we have purple i like to use all this purple and blue and all the light shade that we have in the metallic color when it comes to the white sheet and watercolor painting to get some extra shimmery effect now this one is the graphite metallic so these are the color that I have in my palette. You can mix two different color as well to create any new color. So I have mixed blue and pink together to get something like this. So you can create number of colors as well if you want to. But I think uh, these metallic color is sufficient when it comes to the painting. So let's start with the first technique that we are going to learn today. So I'm going to paint feathers. But it is not like it is only applicable for feathers you can create flowers you can create landscape and try all these technique if you want to i think feather is a right choice when it comes to the metallic color because we can add some shimmery effect into it that's why i'm painting feather today but you can paint anything you just need to learn all this technique so first thing is using only metallic color i'm not using any watercolor I'm using only metallic watercolor to paint this particular feather. Refer to your sheet and understand which color looks better, what kind of color combination you need and you can try all this color combination into this sheet. Again if you use too much water into the metallic color it will not pop up into your sheet so try to use less water and the consistency of the pigment should be more when we are using only metallic color although i do not prefer to use only metallic color but to show you what we can do i'm showing it to you so the first way is using only metallic color into your watercolor sheet so as you can see the color are popping up but not that much but we need some extra effect into it so for now i'm keeping it like that i have used purple pink and golden color a little bit of blue here and there i'm mixing it together and you can use different color combination as well just to try with but something like this i have done only 
using metallic color if you want to blend more than two colors then make sure your sheet has wet and enough so that you can blend all this color otherwise you will end up having hard edges so we are done with metallic color try to use more pigment and less water and let it dry for some time meanwhile we can move to the next one now in the second one i'm again creating a basic guideline for feather you can create any object whatever you like to even you can create a round or a rectangle shape just to demonstrate all these things and it's totally fine now in the first one we have used only metallic color but in the second one i'm going to mix both metallic color and normal watercolor together so i'm first trying to wetten my area with the help of watercolor and it pops better as compared to the metallic color is what i feel i'm using watery consistency which is almost like a metallic color you can use little dark shade as well and again i'm using pink and purple shade to wet in the area with the help of normal watercolor now when your sheet is wet or at least damp you can use metallic color also in it so on the purple i'm using again the purple metallic color on the pink i'm using pink metallic color you can use blue metallic color as well about to the pink and purple and you will get something like this so little shimmery effect we are getting in between not everywhere but little bit in between here and there and i think this combination is better as compared to using only metallic color so you can use only metallic color or you can use both metallic color and watercolor these are still wet so let it dry for some time and we are going to come back to these two again so first one is only metallic color second one is the mixed of watercolor and metallic color when your sheet is wet now third one again i'm creating a basic guideline for myself you can create any structure any object whatever you like and then in this one i'm going to show you how we can use metallic color on a dry sheet so i am filling the feather area with the help of normal watercolor i am mixing blue and greenish kind of shade to fill the area and i am using normal watercolor and i think this one is the best technique i feel so you can fill the area with whatever color you like i am mixing little bit of blue little bit of green little bit of black to fill the feather area and i'm going to let it dry completely so we are going to use metallic color in this when we have completely dried sheet so third technique is use watercolor paint everything with the help of watercolor dry it completely and then we are going to use metallic color about it so first one was only metallic color second one is metallic color and the watercolor combination when your sheet is wet and enough the third one is using only watercolor and dry it completely and then we are going to use metallic color about to it so let it dry for some time and meanwhile we can create the fourth one so again fourth one i'm creating a basic guideline for myself for this particular one this one is little different as compared to the normal feather painting so in this one i'm creating sections and design and pattern into the uh, feather area so i'm creating design like this having negative space around each and every sections that we have so you can create any design as per your choice i'm keeping it very very simple i'm i have divided this into multiple sections keeping negative space in between and then i'm going to uh, fill the smaller smaller section with different different colors so i'm using red orange blue color to fill all these area uh, if you know mandala art you can add more design and pattern into it i want to keep it simple for the demonstration purpose so that's why i have kept something like this and i'm filling each and every section with different different color keeping negative space in between two sections that we have so i have used blue color i have used orange color red color 
so color combination is totally depend on you what color you like to use you can keep things little lighter as well i am keeping little on the dark side i have used more pigments of color so that's why i'm getting more color into my sheet and i want to keep it like this so that's why i'm doing it now with the help of fine brush i am using 5 by 0 on the miniature side it's very fine brush and using this brush i'm going to paint the third one now the third one is completely dried and i want to create some lines like this which is needed for feather because these are feathers so i'm adding all these lines into the feather now you can see how beautiful it is when it comes to the dry sheet having watercolor into it and when you use metallic color about to it it gives you a very nice effect so this one is the third technique and my favorite one this is not only applicable for feather you can create any other object and do something like this even for the landscape also you can use all these technique now see these two are also dried so you can do little bit of extra detailing if you want to with some different color so as these are feather so i'm adding more lines into it just to pop things a little bit but you can see when you have more metallic color in the background and you want to create some foreground design you will not able to see that much like we are seeing in the third one so i think it's beautiful technique now let's concentrate on the fourth one i'm filling all the negative space and creating the outline with the help of golden color so again i'm using metallic color for the outlining and for filling the in between area that we have the negative space that we have try to do it when your sheet has completely dried mine is little bit wet but it's fine for now so i am filling the area with the help of golden color i like the orange and golden combination i like the red and golden combination so that's why i have used all these colors so try different color combination as per your choice and you can create something like this so i have created the outline i have filled the area with the help of golden color and see how beautiful these two feathers are so in the third one we have used normal watercolor for the background but uh, you can do the just opposite like you can create everything with the help of metallic color and then use normal watercolor to create some foreground objects so that is also you can do now you can also use metallic watercolor for the landscape or to create some shimmery background so let's create one like that so i am wetting my sheet with the help of normal watercolor and then i am using metallic color in between to get some shimmery effect in between not too much but little bit here and there and then just to avoid the hard edges i am using ample amount of water to blend things around the corner so that we can avoid hard edges and likewise you can create different color combination you can use masking tape also i'm not using it for now and let it dry for some time and once it gets dried completely we are going to do something in the foreground So my sheet is now dried completely. I have already created one like this one as you can see how beautiful background we are getting with little bit of colors and shimmery effect in the background. So something like this you can do and then you can draw anything whatever you like or you can even do some watercolor painting about to that. So for now as we are doing feathers so I am creating one feather drawing here. like this one so in this one i have divided my feather into three sections and then you can add multiple patterns into it whatever you are doing on the right side try to do on the left side or you can keep the design totally different 
you can do some hatching process some contouring process hatching means creating parallel lines like this and then you can add some extra design and pattern into it so these things are totally up to you what kind of design you needed what kind of drawing you want to do even you can create some trees to convert all these into landscape kind of thing also you can do little bit of outlining with the help of needle pen or any ball pen for your uh, other painting as well like i did some outlining for these two with the help of pen so we are done with all the techniques related to metallic color you can use only metallic color you can use combination of watercolor and metallic color you can create some foreground with the help of metallic color so hope this video is helpful for you guys and see you guys in the next video